Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers, and thank you so much for tuning in today for this brief daily message of hope. And I do pray that you're able to find hope in your life today. Uh, it's out there. Uh, hope is pervasive. Uh, God is present in the world, and he is the giver of hope for the hopeless. And many people today I know have lost all patience with everything. Um, I was even asking uh, someone uh, on social media this morning uh, who was really decrying uh, everything that's happened. Uh, you know, the lockdowns, the, uh, the problems with the sports being played with no one in the stands and uh, and they were just going on and on and, and they wanted it changed immediately. And I just asked a little question typing in, uh, do you remember who it is who taught you how to be patient? And <laughs> I just put a little smiley face. <laughs> who taught you to be patient? You know, we're all still learning how to be patient, uh, especially when we have dreams and visions and hopes. And some of those come straight from the Lord and we need to nurture and nourish them within us. I've, I've uh, merged two songs together uh, at the beginning of this that had uh, uh, the, the authors had nothing to do with each other. They lived over a hundred years apart. Uh, one of them was uh, an Episcopal priest um, who had uh, gone through the turbulence of the Civil War and wrote his uh, song. This was uh, uh, Daniel Crane Roberts, a pastor in the church who had fought with the Ohio volunteers in the Civil War. And he wrote the words to God of our fathers, uh, and it was put to a wonderful tune called the National Hymn. And the other one was John Lennon's great song from the early 1970s called Imagine. Imagine all the people living lives in peace. You may say that I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. Someday I hope you'll join us and the world can live as one. That was John Lennon's vision, dream, coming out of the turbulence of the revolutionary upheavals of the 1960s. Uh, not all that different from the great yearnings that came out of the Civil War in the 1860s. Uh, Daniel Crane Roberts wrote these words, God of our fathers, whose almighty hand leads forth in beauty all the starry land of shining worlds in splendor through the skies, our grateful songs before thy throne arise. And then the last verse, refresh thy people on their toilsome way. Lead us from night to never ending day. Fill all our lives with love and grace divine and glory, laud and praise be ever thine. Daniel Crane Roberts, out of the turmoil and turbulence of the American Civil War. Uh, went on to keep uh, his pastorate. Uh, he died in 1907, uh, living through one of the most tumultuous periods uh, in our nation's history, uh, a civil war. Now, to hear some people talk today, there may be a civil war brewing among us. Uh, the divisions between those uh, on one side and those on the other are very stark right now, uh, and measures are being adopted uh, that to me are more totalitarian when you start suppressing the flow of free flow of information and not only information, but ideas. How is a nation going to have civil discourse when part of the discourse is blocked? I don't know the answer to that, but I know I have a dream and a vision, you know, uh, and I understand the frustration that people are feeling. Uh, and we're not very patient right now. So you combine a lack of patience with, with overwhelming anxiety and you don't get a very uh, stable palette on which to, uh, to draw a portrait of our nation. As a matter of fact, it's very unstable right now. Uh, and as a historian myself, I, I see precarious days ahead unless we start talking calmly one with another without the arbitrary assumptions that this side is always wrong and this side is always right, or vice versa. And the sides become enemies rather than, you know, cohabitors and patriots together 
uh, civilians together working toward a dream. John Lennon had a dream of everyone living together in harmony. Uh, Daniel Craig Roberts had uh, a dream of a nation gathering before the throne of God, raising one voice in praise to him. And it reminded me all today, and I've been reading this verse a couple of times today, from Hebrews chapter 12. And just a few verses, just to go into our minds and help calm me down, first of all, and I hope it calms you down. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with patience the race marked out for us. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinful men, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Let us remember when we beat up on each other, uh, we're not accomplishing anything worthwhile. But when we pray one for another and be compassionate and kind and respectful one to another, uh, we may be able to help uh, shine the vision before us of a people living in peace. Uh, we know God is out there among us. He's with you right now. Uh, ask him to help you. Let him teach us in the ways of kindness and compassion. And yes, patience, uh, patience. Uh, when we're calm and relaxed and compassionate, we have an opportunity uh, to see the vision he has for us, a vision of us with him for eternity. God bless you, and I hope you are able to experience his joy today. And through his grace and mercy, I will see you at Mass tomorrow. God bless you.